Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. What I have in front of me is the all-in-one starter kit for Arduino from Electro that was kindly provided for me to review and we're gonna take a look on what we can do with it, how it can benefit you in learning Arduino and how maybe you can get one for your kids. Now whenever I meet some of my friends that are interested in electronics they always ask the same question and that is how do I start with learning electronics and how do I start with learning Arduinos in particular. So maybe this is one of the best answers that I could give them to get one of these kits and to just start play around with it, make sure that they actually want to go into deeper and then understand and start to build their project based on the basic examples that they can pass. The kit itself comes with this nice briefcase style plastic box that is two-toned and we have a USB-C here on the side. It has this nice latches on the side and if we open it up we're gonna be welcomed with few additions as well as the kit itself. We have an infrared remote, we have a moisture sensor, we have the USB-C cable, some servo arms for the mounted servo and the kit itself. Immediately upon first glance what I really like about the kit is that it already comes pre-wired. A lot of the kits that I've seen online they do have all of the sensors but they come in a pile of cables and pieces and different electronics and that is usually a problem to someone that is just starting that doesn't know anything about the Arduino so it makes a whole mess just to get them started and people usually quit when they have some obstacles. The kit that Electro provided already has everything pre-wired and you get uh, I think that there are 14 sensors that are mounted on this board inside the briefcase and the moisture sensor as an additional 15th. If we take a look at the online description page for the kit, you could see it here displayed in everything that we got in the box. And we have a nice description of all the features that it has. Most importantly, it's come with a set of predefined lessons that you don't get in a printed form, but if you scroll down, then you're going to be able to see a link that guides you to the user manual as well as to the data sheet. And looking at the manual, we could see that we have 15 built-in modules as well as more than 20 lessons. Actually, it's 21 lessons that are all executed using the sensors that you have available in the kit. If we go to the table of contents, we can see that we have a different set of lessons that we're going to try some of them. And what I like about the manual is that it explains everything that you've got, including how to set up the Arduino IDE, which should be beneficial to people that are just starting with Arduino. If we take a closer look at the kit, we can see that we have a relay on the left, we have a buzzer, an ultrasonic sensor, as well as some DHT, either 11 or 22, temperature and humidity sensor. We have a light sensor here, a three axis gyro. Then continuing on top, we have the LCD, which is connected to I2C. We have a peer sensor that's connected to analog input two. And this is also really interesting because on each of the section, you get the details where that sensor is connected to the actual Arduino that is being on the board and this one here uses the Atmega T328P. We're going to look into more details later on. On the right we have the servo motor, we have a potentiometer in the form of a linear potentiometer, we have an LED, a sound sensor, so a microphone, and we also have a push button and an R receiver to go with the included remote. Now even though this might not look like it, it's actually an Arduino Uno because it uses the Atmega 328P which is exactly the same as on the Arduino. They've laid it on the board and connected everything together to it so you have an easy way of trying to work with the different sensor and trying to learn Arduino programming. If we take a quick look at the chip here using my microscope that I've built in a previous video, you can check it up here. Then we can see that it's actually using the Atmel uh, Atmega 328P. 
which is exactly the same as on the Arduino Uno. And to start using it, I'm gonna plug it to my computer. I'm using a different cable because the provided one is relatively short. I'm interested to see if there is actually anything uploaded to the Arduino. And we do have the start message on the screen there. Okay, we have LED, so this there seems to be some sort of a firmware there. Okay, how do I move up and down? Okay, so light test. Okay, this uses the light sensor and it actually turned it on when it got too dark okay ths what's that okay so temperature and humidity it's now reading the sensor here on the left okay and sound i'm guessing it's gonna activate the buzzer sound show it's gonna trigger with the microphone so it's gonna listen for my voice and when it's high enough it's gonna trigger the led okay do you have anything else here yeah so we have the ultrasonic okay 35 i don't think that's oh maybe it is because it's measuring up to the camera that i have here where i'm recording so if i go down okay if I go too low, then it triggered the buzzer as well as the LED. Nice. Okay, the servo. And yeah, as I suspected, this is connected to the actual slider. Let's fix that arm. So it says angle zero and 180. Let's screw that in place. Okay. And we have the buzzer. Which it buzzes. Do we have anything more? No. And the LED is the first one. Okay, that's super nice. If we want to connect this and actually program it through the Arduino ID, we need to go in and select the Arduino Uno as the one within the Arduino manager within the boards. And for the port, we should be able to get, yeah, so it's COM8. What I want to check before applying any of my own code is if this sketch here already sends some data through the serial. I think it's communicating at 150,200 baud rate. Let's reset this. There is actually a reset button here. Okay, so backpack in it. button pressed one time, two time, three time, four time. So you see it's already communicating within the serial monitor here. Let's turn the LED. No, we don't see anything about the LED. Turn right. So I'm guessing that this is just outputting the navigation. But in any case, this means that we do have communication with the Uno here and the computer. To test out the actual code update, I created a simple, just a blink sketch that I wrote quickly where I set the LED pin to the D10. So pin 10 on the Uno as being output and we can try to upload this. I've already have the correct port selected. So it compiled uploading. It is now set done uploading. If we take a look at the LED, you'll see that this is now blinking on and off every half a second, exactly as we set it to. If we change the 
delay then this should blink much faster let's try that and you could see that after uploading and resetting the led now blinks much faster because we've removed the delay from 500 to uh, 100 milliseconds between on and off now because we didn't took the led screen into consideration when we uploaded our sketch everything else is being ignored and whatever was last on the screen remains as such even if we reset the board here we need to actually power off the entire device and then power it back on to actually get the screen to turn off and we still have the same code running here now let's try some of their other examples each of the examples is actually conveyed as lessons where for lesson number one we have the led control which is basically exactly what we just did with our led it showcases where that sensor is on the board it showcases the exact schematic uh, using the pin as well as all of the resistors that are available in the board and it explains what is the expected output as well as having the complete code one thing that i don't really like in the manual is that this is added as an image so you can't really copy the code and paste it within the arduino id you do have an explanation of each line and you can copy it and paste it from here to the Arduino ID. But however, looking through the documentation, I managed to come by with a GitHub repository of all of their examples that they are, have within the manual. So I'm gonna share the direct link down in the video description, but it is also available through their wiki if you dig in enough through their documentation. Now for the second thing that I'm gonna try, I'm gonna actually use their second lesson, the button control LED, which will trigger the LED once we press on the button. You have the two circuits here, as well as the full code. Since we can't copy, I'm gonna actually go to the repository and copy it from there. So we have the button control LED and we need the inner file. Let's copy this whole thing and paste it in our example. I'm gonna actually replace everything I have and directly upload it. So let's see what happens. Okay, done compiling, uploading and now if we take a look at the kit the led no longer blinks with the code that we had the previous time but let's try pressing the button and now the button actually triggers the led which is exactly what we wanted to achieve for some of the more advanced examples like this calculation of acceleration that uses the accelerometer if you directly try to compile it and upload it to the board you might come to a certain error. The specific one that I have currently is that the liquid crystal library is missing. Unfortunately, there is nothing in the documentation or in the manual that explains how you should install the, the libraries, but that's really easy to figure out. Luckily, all of the libraries that they've used and the versions are available on the repository that I mentioned before with all of the source codes. So you can find all of the libraries there or what I'm gonna do is actually try to install the library directly from the Arduino. So let's go to manage libraries and we're gonna look for the liquid crystal by Adafruit. Now, I don't exactly know which one, but I think it should be this one. Let's install it all. Let's see what happens. Okay, and let's try now to compile it. Seems happy so far. Yep, done compiling. Now let's upload it to the board. I still have it connected to my computer. This should be fairly quick. So it is uploading. And if we move at the screen, now we can see that we already got some numbers. So if I move to the side, then we're gonna see that the axis will move. I'm not sure which one are the exact axis. I think that, so this one is Z. Not sure how well I can document this. So if I make it vertical, it goes to zero on the Z axis. 
and it goes to 13 like this okay and as I turn it now X is getting larger and I think like this so Y so we have control over the accelerometer as well as control of the LCD I don't know if the sketch does anything else I haven't looked into the details of it but what it's important is that it was really easy to get to it and easy to install it and easy to play with the different sensor and understand how it works. Now one thing to keep in mind as soon as you start uploading your own code to the kit then you're gonna lose the code that was already here on the Uno that came from the factory. I tried searching online to find that sketch so I can re-upload it and restore this to its factory state but unfortunately I wasn't able to find that on the Electro repositories. I'm gonna reach out to Electro to try and find if we can get that sketch to become available so we can probably restore this and give it to a child to explore on their own. Beyond of what is available on the board as sensors already pre-installed, you have this expansion slots here on the bottom where you have two for the analog inputs and we have analog three and analog six exposed to this uh, crow tail connector as we have on the moisture sensor that we get. We have D11, so digital 11. We have one UART, so we can connect something over serial. And we have two I2C ports that we can connect extra sensors to. And what is super interesting, once you get bored with the original sensors provided in the kit, then you can go and purchase any of the, what I believe is more than 150 additional sensors that all follow the Crotel connection standard with the available plugs on the kit. And you can decide to purchase any additional sensors and connect them and explore them within your own projects. And with that, I'm gonna end the video right here. I would definitely recommend the kit for anyone looking to start with Arduino and start learning programming with Arduino. Start to create your own gadgets and devices that can use the sensors and the outputs provided here. And then once you've mastered that, you can move to building more complicated projects. I'm going to have all of the links for the kit and everything I mentioned down in the video description. If you like the video, then hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe because many of you are not subscribed and you're going to learn a ton about Arduino by doing so. It also helps the channel grow. So thank you for that. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the video comments and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.